What's up guys, Double Cap Crippin here. Today we're taking the Cyber Beast on some Jeep trails here at Vortex Springs in Ponce de Leon, Florida. Stay tuned and make sure you hit that like and subscribe. This video was made possible by Vortex Springs, a hidden treasure right here in Ponce de Leon, Florida. This place is a scuba diver's paradise with crystal clear water and a year round temperature that makes it perfect for a dive. Vortex Springs is a place where you can come to relax and enjoy nature or push yourself to new limits. They offer scuba lessons so you can learn to explore the underwater world safely, plus they have underwater caves for the most experienced divers. But it's not just about diving. Vortex Spring is also a great place to hang out with friends and family. They have campgrounds where you can pitch a tent or park an RV, and there are plenty of activities to keep everyone entertained from swimming and paddleboarding to off-roading and rodeos. They also host festivals and events throughout the year so you can experience the local culture and have a great time with friends and family. And if you don't have an RV, don't worry, there are lodging options on site. So whether you're a seasoned diver, an off-roading enthusiast, or just looking for a fun and relaxing getaway, I highly recommend checking out Vortex Spring. With the UI, you got off-road setting. You have your overland and Baja. Overland is for optimizing the traction, and Baja is for optimizing control. And then we got your different terrains. We pretty much keep the Cyber Beast in all purpose throughout the video. I did go into sand in one sandy area, but it wasn't that bad anyway. Um, and then you can look at the different terrains here. It kind of breaks it down a little bit. And if you go into the service and there's manual and it will talk about those different settings a little more in depth all purpose automatically adjusts tire slippage based on the amount of available traction and sets the preferred ride height to high all purpose is for suited for a mix of terrain driving then you have the sand which is going to allow high amounts of tire slippage to provide your optimal traction and then gravel is medium amounts of tire slippage to provide traction. And then rock is a, it tightly manages the tire slip to maximize the grip in rock crawl conditions and sets your ride height to very high. And then you have your stopping modes. So you have hold and roll. Um, we don't go into Baja, but Baja changes up the ride height. For your travel, the rebound, the dampening, providing more stability and protecting against large impacts. In addition, the electronic stability control system allows more tire slip for more dynamic driving on low traction surfaces. You have your deceleration mode, increases the amount of regen braking so Cybertruck slows down more dramatically. So you got high and standard. Then you have your handling balance, you got left and right. Adjust the vehicle balance such that the Cybertruck behaves more like a front-wheel drive vehicle. That's for the left. And then on the right, adjust the vehicle balance such that the Cybertruck behaves more like a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And then stability assist. You have your standard, which provides the maximum amount of stability control. Then reduced, reduces that stability control. And then minimal provides minimal amount of stability control. So that's kind of just a quick rundown of our uh, different terrains. You got your ride heights, you got your motor temps, battery temp, and then your front motor. You can turn off the vitals or turn them on. Um, any kind of issues we had climbing in the cyber truck with this off-road video typically was because we didn't have front locking differentials. But luckily the Cyber Beast has plenty of power in the rear with those dual motors and we we're pretty much able to power through um, anything we tackled. Here is entry ride height. 
and we'll bump it up to low. And we are at low. Go up to medium. We are now at medium. Bump up to high. We do have the air compressor kicking in now. So now we're going to go into very high. We're going to extract, which is the highest at 16 inches. Nice. Back up and try to straighten it out. Yeah. Am I online? Yep, nicely done. Yep. yep. Nice. Cyber truck off roading.
the air compression going there, working overtime. If we did have lock and diffs here, we would be able to attack this head on and those front wheels would be able to grab and pull us up. This, without lock and diffs, we're gonna take this more technical and we're gonna go left wheel up on top and right in the center. And we should be able to get up there. How am I looking on the left? This is why it's super important to have diff lock, especially in the front tires. How am I looking on the left? Something cool, so obviously Cybertruck has rear facing repeaters. But if you look in the Bronco, it's more for off roading. And the cameras on the side are actually pointed forward towards the tires rather than rear, like the Cybertruck. But it is made for more for off roading than what the Cybertruck actually is. Yeah, it's too no that's too much. Yeah, for, yeah, that's too much for the truck. Yeah, did it? I don't think so, dude. I think, yeah. I don't have. If I had skid plates, I could skid down it. Yeah. I don't have skid plates on. I don't want to risk messing anything up. That's a pretty decent drop. So, gonna back the truck up. 
go down another trail. I don't want to risk it on that. It ain't worth it. I'm going to head back up, scouting our pass on the Stark Varg. I don't have a crawl. I just, no, I just meant just let it creep. Let it do the work. Straighten it out. Yeah, I think you're good. Yeah, because you want to hit this lip here, so you, you want to go straight right there. No, you're good. Straight, yeah. You're just gonna flex back and forth until you get done. So, so we're good. Come out a little bit right. Go right on that. A little yeah. bit right. There you go. That's right. And you should be good. Yep. Keep. You're keep just going. gonna keep moving. Yeah. Gas it because you're up. There you go. Turn right. A little bit more right. Going. Keep coming. Keep coming. Straight. Straighten out. Yep. Just follow it now. Beautiful.
this one's wild. We'll see about this one. We can always go around or we can come down this way and scrape her up, but I don't, it looks pretty rough. I don't think I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, just bounce back and forth. We can play ping pong all the way down these walls. Yeah. I'm gonna go through. All right. So Taylor's gonna go through this. We're not gonna take the cyber truck. It's not worth it. I don't want to fix it. So, want to sponsor me? You want to pay me money to do it? I'll send it. <laughs> buff So there's the trails. Another great thing about the Cybertruck is the onboard power. So right now we're at 71%. I don't remember what we started at, maybe around 80% um, or so. Can't remember. So we're at 71% right now. Got onboard power going. I got my batteries recharging. Got more batteries back here charging. And we're gonna eat some lunch now. Got our George Foreman. 
I'm gonna hook her up, eat some lunch on the back of the Cyber Beast. It's gonna cook. Okay. There's something special. Well, in here. Did you cut this open for me? No. I need a knife. Don't need a knife. It says resealable. It ain't resealable now. What's up? I don't know. Which way are you, are you supposed to put these on this way? Yeah. So cooking lunch on our George Foreman in the Cyber Beast. I don't know. Should we charge? I should charge the bike while we're doing this. Okay. Yeah, I'll move it. Let me get this over. All right. So I did get a 240 plug, so we're going to be plugging into the 240 outlet. That's my little way silly. I'm still, so, I'm so surprised that fell out. I haven't, dude. I literally rode it on a dirt bike track jumping, and I can't. Twelve G's. All right. She's plugged in, charging some batteries. Cooking some brats, charging the Stark Varg. Currently at 76%. See if we can focus this. 76%, and I don't know if you can see, 8 amps is what it's charging at. It can charge up to 10 amps. I think it lowers the amps as it gets a little bit higher um, on the battery level, because when I was charging it at home, I was around 80% when I plugged it into my 240 and it was also charging at 8 amps. So I'm going to test it out. I think it drops the amperage as it gets fuller. But yeah, 76% right now. We're at 12.23. We'll see how long it takes to charge up the Stark Varg as we're eating some lunch. Cyber truck right now is... Is at 71%. There you go. So 1224, 71%. Charging all the batteries. You got batteries charging here too. We're just gonna chill, eat some brats, and have a good time. Oh, did you rotate these? Oh. Only damage I have seen outside of the Freddy Krueger claws down the side. So that's when we went around that corner and slapped that tree. Is we lost some pins, which caused this to hit the tire and it ripped off the plastic there. But that's really it. Lost the a plastic pin here, some pins there. Outside of that, look at those. Man, look at that. Definitely on the on the mirror. That's when we <laughs> smacked the tree. It was already busted. In the oh, old, like a electric one? Yeah, it's gonna be an electric. Uh, There's the like, body, the back. Yeah. 
nothing nothing going on in the rear so a little bit of plastic on the front side I'm good with watching my hands oh all right so all done cooking unplugged so we're done 69 percent it's 12.57. That's about 30 minutes of charge, charging the Stark Farg. We were at 74%, uh, 75%, I believe. We are now up to 96%. We're charging at a rate, let's see, or four amps at this point. So 96% on our 240. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Cyber Beast and Stark Varg content, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep bringing it to you.